There was no mention, not even a word. In his nearly 26-minute-long budget address yesterday, Governor Christie skirted the issue of transportation funding. If there is something that is going to be done, you would expect it would be reflected in the budget itself. That is, that there will be new, uh, new revenues for the Transportation Trust Fund and that you would put that in your budget. Uh, that's not there. Zero. The $1.6 billion Transportation Trust Fund will run out of money come July 1. That deadline has been the source of contention this past year, sparking rallies, radio spots and commercial ads promoting a gas tax to raise the needed revenue. It's probably the one issue that impacts every single citizen of our state every single day. And we've been advocating for a solution for going on nine months. Tom Bracken sits at the helm of New Jersey's Chamber of Commerce and leads a coalition of business and labor leaders called Forward New Jersey. In full disclosure, he also sits on the board of Public Media NJ, operator of NJ TV. Bracken says the gas hike is probably the best solution and rumors of the governor borrowing another authorized but untapped 600 million is just a band-aid. We are advocating for something that is in the range of $2 billion. $600 million, I'm not sure what that really does. It might cover the debt service deficiency, but it does nothing for uh, fixing our infrastructure nor improving our infrastructure. So if you can find a little bit here and a little bit there and uh, prolong uh, one or two major projects, uh, that's not an answer. That's a convenient uh, response by an administration that wants to avoid discussion of the underlying problem. This as new figures released by the Federal Highway Administration show New Jersey is the sixth worst in the nation when it comes to structurally deficient bridges. Out of about 6,600 in the state, more than 2,000 or 35 percent are deemed in need of repairs, unable to handle traffic, and do not meet safety standards. 24 percent of bridges across the country were found deficient. The Department of Transportation reviewed the data and told NJTV News structurally deficient and functionally obsolete should not be considered one category and neither implies danger to motorists. It's a problem for any governor, let alone one with presidential aspirations. Hundred-year-old bridges like this one in Mercer County being shut down indefinitely. And sources with knowledge of plans for the TTF say Christie has been very hands-off. And that at least for now, the administration plans to see just how far that proverbial can being kicked down the road can go. In Trenton, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.